Hey guys, welcome to my review of my Panasonic home stereo system, model number SA PMX92. Pick this up from Amazon.com for $499 Australian on sale. What's great about this system is that it is high res audio, and that means that if you plug in music via either the USB or the PC input, you can listen to music at its highest resolution available. With that said, the digital to analog converter in this is top notch, so your Bluetooth and CDs are gonna sound great as well. I'm gonna go through the features and then the pros and the cons of this system. Let's look at the interface first, dedicated bass knob, treble knob, and large volume. Power selector to run through the different playbacks. Some controls here, Bluetooth pairing, CD tray, headphone jack, USB input. Going to go through the different features now. So the USB is where you play high-res audio. I have not tried that yet. CD player. If you have lots of CDs like myself and you don't really want to throw them out, great to have a unit with a CD player. A lot of newer units are just getting rid of CD altogether. We got USB. Optical is for the television. I plug this into my television and even though that's just the distance there, the sound is great. You get sound separation. You feel the effects of left panned audio, right panned audio. And when you put on the surround sound button, it really makes things come to life. I've watched some movies I've seen many times before and the soundtrack really hit me because instead of being buried behind the dialogue, it's up front, it feels good. So I can absolutely recommend this unit to improve your television movie experience. And I prefer it over soundbar because I'm not really a big fan of the soundbar sitting under the television. You can also lift them up a little bit higher so that the audio will reach you. Sometimes the soundbar can be a little bit low. So thumbs up on the optical input. Let's go through the other features. PC I've used once, wasn't very, um, wasn't a great experience for me, it sort of cut in and out. Bluetooth, what I use for my Bluetooth is my iPad. I use YouTube Audio, I'll just show you. So I use that, sounds great. What you wanna do for whatever system you use or if you use Apple Music, Spotify, make sure you go into the settings and put it to the highest resolution playback. Because with this system, you wanna take full advantage of the speakers and these speakers are gonna be able to play and reproduce all the little sounds that maybe you didn't notice before. I listened to music on this and I noticed qualities in the guitars and drums that I hadn't really noticed in other home stereo systems. With the Bluetooth, if it cuts in and out, which happened once or twice for me, just go into the settings on your device, turn the Bluetooth off and reconnect. That fixed it for me. DAB radio is great. You have 20 presets. DAB is digital radio, if you don't know. It's dependent, it's dependent upon where you live, whether you have DAB. Luckily for me, we have DAB in my area. FM still sounds great, not as high quality as DAB, obviously, but still sounds pretty good. Audio in I haven't used, aux in I haven't used. Let's look at the remote, go through the features. You have some sleep timers. You have three dedicated buttons there to flip through the features. You have some EQ effects. I normally just keep it on flat. You got sound here, you press sound, enter, and you can go through the bass, treble, or surround, turning it on and off. You have a dimmer there, you can dim the display. And digital bass, turn that on or off. One of the cons I will say about this remote for me, I would like a, a bigger volume button. We got the three 
different buttons there separating the inputs I would have liked a dedicated button for the optical in which is the television instead of you have to hit radio and that's a little confusing at first you're like okay radio why is it labeled radio this button but there you go that's how you put it onto the optical one of the cons of this system for me was the length of the speaker cable so this is my setup I put it to a side that one just reaches over there and that's not a very big distance so if you have a large TV and you want to replicate this setup of mine you're gonna to have to buy additional cables so that's that's an area where they could have given you just an extra 30 to 50 centimeters per wire that would have been great the other con is really just the remote just those features and that's and one more con if I didn't mention earlier is that say I'm in a different mode than CD and I put in a CD I like on stereos when you just press play and it'll go okay he wants to play CD it doesn't do that you actually have to go into CD mode you just missed it that's another thing you kind of flip through you end up missing things you have to go in and then do it so it could have been a little bit more intuitive just on that spot that's one thing that I'll say is a con not a not a huge deal but it's just a little bit more messing around than maybe you're in a hurry so if you have CDs you want to keep I recommend this system if you want to use it to double as the TV instead of a, a soundbar I recommend the system highly if you want to listen to Bluetooth audio and enjoy it I fully recommend this system before I had this, I was just using my JBL charge speakers in my room. Doesn't even come close to this. It's almost like I'd forgotten what a home stereo system sounds like because I just gotten used to using my little Bluetooth audio speakers, which although they sound great, they can't come close to this. So if you love music, you wanna really enjoy it again, I would recommend this for its price point. Thank you for watching my review.